I think, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we all, and to go even further, we almost dominate those areas. There are areas now of the internet where uh, San Francisco is not actually all that relevant. Uh, the New York is really the dominant place. I want to make sure true. everybody puts it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's true. Uh, but it's true, and I, the other category I'd add that we're not strong in yet is sort of real enterprise software. Um, that's, and, you know, and, but that's starting, and we're, I think all we need are a few breakout companies in biotech or in other areas, because what you see, and Fred and I have seen this, we've been doing this for a long time, that you get a couple breakout companies and then people from there spin off and you know, create a sector. But it takes 10 years to do that. And so everything is going unbelievably well in our area. Any weaknesses? Look, the, the strength creates a weakness. We don't have enough people. No, no one has enough people. We don't have enough engineers. We don't have enough uh, engineering faculties in New York. The Cornell campus, I think, will be a nice addition. Uh, we don't have immigration rules that immigration, better immigration would help New York more than any other city because so many people have relatives here, they'd like to come here, they can't get visas, so that's a federal issue, but very, very frustrating. Um, and things that cost issues are a little bit of a weakness, but, but frankly, in the industries we're in, that's not the biggest issue. We, what we need are great people, and if we have to pay them 10% more, that's, that's irrelevant.